Anybody have any cheap dice? <laughs> Fifteen hands went up. That's awesome. <laughs>
It is early in the morning. Each one of you is asleep in your den. I say den because all of you are goblins, and you all live uh, inside a uh, giant uh, centipede and spider-infested warehouse, just like you like it, um, in the Puddles, a district in the gigantic city of Absalom. Uh, you are all in uh, your, your kind of own little nests, the areas where you've piled up all of your junk and you sleep every night. And uh, you are all rudely awoken uh, by one of the king's royal guards. And you know they're royal guards because they wear big, big hats with feathers. And uh, they come up and they poke you, uh, and they're like, Hey! Hey! Oh. King wants to talk to you. <laughs> Inexcusable! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't care. The king wants to talk to you. Come with me. Okay. <laughs> as long as I get a chance to see the rat, to avenge my father. The, the rat is not. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm saying to find you. There's no rat. I mean, there are rats. This place is infested. But my name is the Grotto. Yeah. I need to find the rat that killed my father. Yeah, no, I. Yeah, we all heard the speech. All right. <laughs> jurisdiction over me, for I have never paid taxes. <laughs> I'm a free goblin, free goblin on the land. You can take it up with the king, this is not my problem, I just was told to come get you. Very well. All right. So you are escorted down, uh, down uh, two floors uh, to the throne room. And, and this, this district that you live in is called the Puddles for a reason. It floods with high tide, and right now the tide is up. So you get down to the base floor, and you're in about a foot of water. Mind you, you're only about three, three and a half feet tall, so it, it's like up to your waist. And uh, you're escorted into the king's throne room. And uh, the king has the nicest seat in the place, because it's raised up out of the water. And uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a rather arrogant-looking uh, goblin. He, he wears a wig. Most, most goblins don't have hair, but he does. He has this big pompadour. Uh, and, and, you, and, and you are now, uh, uh, before the guard kind of hits you in the back of the knees so that you kneel. And he's like, you stand before King Humpledork. I assume if we're on our knees, our heads are super. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Cunning snorkel <laughs> from the intestine of a rat. Yeah, That's it. yeah. It, it, you can breathe, but it smells well. It's just about as bad as everything. Around here. So um, uh, after kneeling for a moment, uh, the guards come and pull your heads up out of the water. Uh, and, uh, Thank you. <laughs> the king looks down at all of you and says, "I have a quest for you." This king is unlike any other goblin. He has taken on the speech and affectations of the tall folk in the city that you live with. Most other goblins despise him for it, but, well, he does have the biggest hat, so he's in trouble. Um, and he looks at you and he says, I have a quest for you. I need you to retrieve a crown. I'm going to get married. Mary, congratulations! <laughs> yes, I, 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 I don't need your congratulations. I need the crown. Unfortunately, the crown was on the body of the queen when we, um, well, the last queen, when we, when we buried her. I see it. Where is this body interred? Well, as with all goblins, we just threw her into the sewer. Right. Right. <laughs> Family crypt. Ooh. <laughs> so yes, I'm going to need you to go down into the fire sewers. Fire sewers? Good lord. All right, very well. We'll do this, but only under any circumstances. <laughs> The guards in the back are apparently like thumbing their their their, their like pole arms and they're thumbing the blades. You know that the, the goblin king's uh, uh, request is really more of a command. Yes, yeah, so I had survived. Yeah. <laughs> um, very well, my companions. We've been given a quest. And if we wish our heads to remain attached to our bodies, we have to complete it. <laughs> <laughs> Here, have the rat intestine. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and we get to go to the sewers. 
Yeah. And then, at, at this point in time, why don't you all introduce yourselves? Uh, the king is like, yes, go, go and retrieve the crown from, from the queen's body. It was buried somewhere in the sewer. Now off you go. And at this point in time, why don't you uh, introduce yourselves to one another? Ah, well, I'm clearly the leader here. <laughs> I'm the best qualified and my brain is prodigious. I am busy. A pleasure to meet you all. I think I've seen you around rooting through piles of filth. That is the goblin way, yes. We do share a, a goblin bed together, if you recall. Oh, yes, yes. I've seen you guys around. I've seen you around. But this is the first time we're working together under <laughs> enforced circumstances. <laughs> nice to meet you. My name is uh, Princess Butter. Oh. Just Butter. Uh, I'm a female iron dead goblin. And I got some pretty jewelry on too, because I like to class a look. I am also an iron deck goblin. I am an alchemist by trade. Oh, well, I'm a cleric. Oh, very that's, nice. a, that's a really fun word to say with this kind of speech pattern I got. <laughs> well, let's hope there's no clerical errors. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right. Mark. Stop. All right, next. Friends, this is like your 12th panel today. Isn't yes. What <laughs> a roll. Hi, I'm Fizz. Can I pet you? Okay. <laughs> oh, Always with consent. Yes. <laughs> I just want everyone to succeed. I'm a big, lovable ogre or goblin, and I want my enemies to die facing me because that's fair. <laughs> Some, some attacks lately. 
Uh, yes, we're here to inspect the sewers. We're monsters. Any monster that comes across our path, we will cut them down with swiftness. They, they, they kind of just, just look at you and they're like, yeah, no, we, 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 we understand your goblins, but, uh, and you like the sewers, but no, seriously, there's, there's horrible monsters. What you you I... don't understand we're here on an I mean, official capacity. What if I show you a little bit of skin? <laughs> <laughs> well, the humans kind of blanch at that. <laughs> well, to be honest, one of them's kind of like, Can you give me, uh, do you have the diplomacy skill listed on your character sheet? It would be, uh, it would be kind of, uh, further down in the list of actions there. It says use a skill. Yes. If you have diplomacy, go ahead and bounce me a d20 and, uh, add that number and tell me what you get. Thirteen. Thirteen is the total. Yeah. Thirteen oh. plus. Not with a charisma like that, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Very well, let's see how that goes. Make me an attack roll. And I'll be getting a plus one with this, I believe. 
plus one on whatever the bonus normally is on your attacks. Should be up in your attacks, up in bombs. Bombs, bombs. Just look in the bombs section. This will be uh, used by <laughs> dexterity, I believe. Yep. Yes. Yeah, go ahead and roll. 14, uh, total of, I believe, 19. Oh, uh, 19. You fling, you fling the bomb through the air, and not only does that hit, that is a critical hit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You see my armor class by 10, I am, after all, nothing more than a shrieking slime. Yeah. Um, so, uh, go ahead and roll damage for your firebomb, and because it's a critical hit, once you've got the total, double it. Pretty well. And will I be adding uh, plus one to this damage, or that? No, 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 just, just whatever the damage normally is. Uh, so that will be a total of six points of damage. Six, and that is doubled. You got a six initially. Oh, no, no, say I rolled a three. So three, sorry, six total. Six total. Right. Um, your firebomb slams into the ooze. The, uh, the, the, the flame bursts about it. It's, it shrieks and wails even more. And um, it is currently on fire, I believe. It so is a bit on fire. It will continue now. to yeah. be engaged. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's going to work out really again, well. Again. Down here with all the sewer again, gas. Again. Um, <laughs> You hear uh, little popping noises and then a burst of flame. Uh, so, uh, that was your second action. If you like, you can draw and throw another bomb if you want. Yes. Yes, I think I will. All right. I think I will. Very well. Oh, natural one. Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, one of my companions is quite close to this thing. <laughs> So, uh, you, you wing that bomb off down the corridor, and it, it, it slams into a, a wall and just bursts into flames, and now the corridor up ahead is just on fire. <laughs> okay, good. That yeah. corridor will not miss us. That's... <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. All right. Everything's going according to plan! There's two oozes? Yeah, he, well, he clearly already killed the other one, uh, because it was invisible, I no one saw it. I covered all the bases. Uh, uh, Princess Butter, it is now your turn to act. You, okay. have, you have three actions. Okay, well, uh, I did take a shower this morning, so my hair's still a little wet. Yeah. And what combats ooze? Water. That, yeah. Uh, what, yes. obviously. Uh, and I have the power to slap someone with my hair. <laughs> <laughs> So you, uh, you you have to spend one of your actions to move up next to it. That's fine. Okay. Uh, you do that, and then uh, with your second action, you slap it with your hair. So go ahead and roll me that d20. And you have, have to actually touch your hair with you. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, I rolled a two. Okay. But I get to add five. So that's a seven. Seven. So. Uh, Shockingly, you miss. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's okay. Your hair landed in the sewage, so it's fine. Um, can you can you make me? You do still have a third action. Would you like to attempt to whip it with your hair again? I want the hair back and forth. I want the hair back and forth. I want the hair back and forth. Shoot. <laughs> That'll be a total of ten. That is still a miss. Uh, you, you got closer that time. Should I tell her she's rolling a d6, or should we just let no, it No, no, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you whip your hair back and forth. There's just hair flying everywhere up there, but the, the ooze seems to not notice and or care. Um, it also doesn't have eyes, so that could be a problem. All right, uh, we are now up to uh, uh, Fizz. It is your turn. Uh, I'm having trouble acting because of the amazing hair show, but... <laughs> First, I'm going to get angry. Okay. <laughs> and second, so you fly into a rage. I flew into a rage. All right. Yes. yes. And second, I'm going to rhyme at it so that it comes at me and no one else. <clears throat> and, well, uh, and, and what's the rhyme? Well, it's coming. All right. <laughs> hey, ooze, you're a ooze. Ooze. <laughs> Alright, uh, go ahead and roll me a uh, 
intimidate Jack? Because none of this would work in D&D, &D, but Pathfinder would be yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go away! Join your friend down the hall! <laughs> that is a amazing 15. Uh, okay, well, I mean, the ooze doesn't really have a face, so you can't really tell whether or not that has that is worked or not. It hasn't gone yet, so... Uh, but you, you, have, you have pointed and yelled at it. I believe you still have one action. Uh, no, sir, that's rage, oh. rhyme, and uh, Oh, all right, so uh, you basically just bend your round getting angry and shouting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to TPK him with the news. All right. Uh, <laughs> this is great. All right, and, and, and Monto. Can I get an update on the sludge's uh, whereabouts? Uh, it's, it's, it's about 10 feet away from you in the, in the, in the uh, kind of the sewer trough. Down where, down where Fizz is. Uh, but you can get up to it with just one action by moving up to it. How far away is it from the fire? Uh, quite a ways. Um, as it turns out, uh, 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 Vincy really <coughs> screwed that up and threw it way down the hallway. <laughs> but it itself is currently on fire, so I mean, eventually it might die. <laughs> with us inside it. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. The shore is painful of all time. I want to use my perception okay. to look around the room and find that escape route. <laughs> okay. Not, not right. through the fire. Yeah, all right. And not through the fire itself. All right, give me a perception check. And uh, that should be uh, right. Uh... Sure. And then I just, I roll. You roll this and add the, add the, the, the number it says right there. Yeah. Okay. Parts of this panel, I make I make uh, voice actors do math. <laughs> Fifteen. All right. Uh, so you take a look around and you do see an escape route, but you're pretty sure that there's no way Fizz is going to squeeze through that pipe. So you'd be leaving him for dead. I understand. <laughs> so that was one of your actions. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming you have your your rapier in hand. So if you like, you can spend a second action to move up to it and a third action to it. If you want. Yes. All right. Uh, all I right. move up to. I move up to the block. It's on fire. Yes. I approach it with caution. It's, it's very safe, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> go ahead and roll me the d20 again, and uh, that's the, the top line in your attack, right uh, there. And that'll tell you your attack roll. And if you hit, I'll ask you to roll damage. That is not great. <laughs> wow, that's awful. <laughs> Guys, we're not feeling so hot right now. <laughs> Save yourselves. Okay, my father's okay. <laughs> was not good enough. Because I got to give her away. A level is actually a hit. <laughs> Plus four, so uh, that's the the normal normal die. Yep, there you go. The normal die. <laughs> that was weird, nice. Whatever. So glad I was here for your first time. <laughs> next year, next year, next year, you're running this panel. So. <laughs> Bring it. I'm gonna be your player. It's gonna be awesome. Like a boss. Yeah. Like, uh, okay, so then plus what? Four. I okay. Believe, oh, okay. Six points of damage. All right. The, the rapier flashes out, slices through the ooze. Some of its its gross insides leak out, but it is still alive. The ooze is now going to go. It is shrieking as it does so. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's going to uh, it's going to attack you, Fizz. Um, a pseudopod of its filth comes out and tries to hit you. Oh, goodness, he's not using a real pod. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it, it swings wildly at you three times.
kind of intimidating. Does not, yeah, you yeah. are clearly intimidating. Yes. Uh, the bride. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then it takes some more damage from fire. Um, it is still alive, but it looks pretty badly hurt now. I'm going to go back down to uh, you, Vincy. It is still alive. Very well. I am going to continue with my gamut of throwing, burning things at it. <laughs> <laughs> Currently grappling this beat. Okay. This sounds good to me. All right, so. You're doing a great job. Keep it pinned there while I set you both on fire. Uh, so that will be one of my actions will be throwing a fire bomb. I'm yeah. also noticing I'm depleting my supply of fire bombs, so I'm actually going to uh, use my craft skill, using some of the, uh, ex uh, the flammable methane gas and whatnot. I'm going to trap some inside a bottle using my goblin crafty skills and make another fire bomb. As a matter of fact, you do have some leftover reagents uh, yes. so that, uh, for the day, so you can make a few more. Not many, though. You Very can well. only make two more today. Yes, and would I need to consult the plan to do that, my book? Uh, no, yeah, that is where you keep all of your recipes and formulas. Very well, so that would be consulting, crafting, and throwing a bomb. So yes. That, that'll those are my actions, very well. And that'll be 19, that'll be 25! That is another critical hit. <laughs> and this time, it is maximum damage. Oh. So that would be 12? Uh, no, so 8 points of damage, we might oh, be eight, D8. 8, yeah, D8, D8 so times 2, 16. 16, thank you. Oh. <laughs> Short work of this ends my fellow adventurer. <laughs> so, in, turn, out of my splash in, in fact, you take 2 points of damage from the uh, firebomb going off right in your face, um, as does all of you, actually. <laughs> Sorry, all of you take 2 points of damage. So on your character sheets, uh, well. right next to the, the portrait there, you have a spot that says hit points. If those go to zero, you start dying. So you just took two points of damage. Hooray! Um, <laughs> so, uh, so we're killing ourselves. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, no, you guys are that would be technical. I'm killing you. <laughs> All of us. Mistakes were made. Um, Mutually assured destruction. <laughs> so uh, you, uh, you. Uh, uh, Fling the firebomb at the ooze. It slams into it. Burning, choking smoke emits from this thing. It, it smells even worse when it's on fire. And now it is really on fire. Um, it is now this flaming pile of ooze that is somehow still alive. Wow. Um, a question, how many uh, firebombs was I, were, was I able to create? Just one. Just the one, all right. Uh, it should say how many you have down in the bottom. Yes, yes. So I, with the one I've created, I now have, I still have two left. All right, fire one. Yay! Okay. And I can't help but notice that you're the only one rolling crits and you're using your own dice. Let's mm -hmm. yes. see how this is. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> Wait, are those official Wizards of the Coast Dungeons and Dragons dice that you're using? Well, there seems to be an ampersand for the 20. Oh, boy. That's, that's really off the <laughs> Wait, no, that's a, if you look at it like that, it's a big P. Perfect. Okay. Um, that's good branding. All right. So, uh, uh, Princess Butter, the ooze is still alive. You have whipped your hair at it, and now it's on. Now it's on fire, and your hair is dangerously close to catching on fire. Save yourself. Um, so, what what would you like to do? I would like to attack. Okay. With my staff. Your staff. All right. So you draw your staff. That's one action. And then you can swing your staff. So go ahead and make me an attack roll. Roll the d20. Oh, that's a sound. I got a 15. Oh, that's a 15 will hit. Uh, so uh, next to, uh, on the staff line there, it's going to tell you how much damage you do. Roll d8. D8. So go ahead and roll the eight sided die. That's one. That's that one. Yep. Uh, okay. uh, two. Two points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> so, your staff slams into it, more ooze goes spawning all over the place as your, as your, as your uh, staff strikes it. It is still somehow alive, though. God this thing damn. refuses to die. Uh, you do still have one action. You can attack uh, an additional time during the round, if you want. Let's still, do it! Alright, go ahead and roll again. You take a penalty on this, but I'll, I'll deal with that on my end. Sixteen. A 16 will hit, yeah. Yeah! Do it again, there you go. Uh, so go ahead and roll that D8 again. Die, you little loser!
Did you say loser? <laughs> I sure did! <laughs> You gotta write this down. <laughs> Junction, junction, what's your function? <laughs> Are there vines or anything hanging or... or uh, there, is, there is like, yeah, some like hanging moss from the ceiling that you could try and climb across if you want. Uh, you, have a, you have a skill called acrobatics. It's, uh, it's right there. Why don't you go ahead and roll me a, 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 a d20 and tell me what you get. This is exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. It's going to use my amazing skills to tumble around those Mossy vines. <laughs> Get to the other side. Make a bridge or something. I don't know. Get you across. <laughs> you can do it! Uh, go ahead and give me the check. Yeah. I have faith in you. Don't disappoint me. <laughs> Sixteen. That is, that is quite good. So you, uh, you, you scurry up on the moss and manage to uh, find a way to get across without having to jump down into the sewage. Uh, what about you, Fizz? How are you getting well, across? Well. Are we allowed to jump into the sewage? <laughs> if you want. I would love to. Yes. All right. <laughs> I can see how deep it is. As it turns out, it's very deep. Uh, it is way deeper than the passageway you were just in. And in fact, you find yourself under sewage. I mean, it's not underwater. Uh, so you, you are completely underneath the sewage. What's the taste of the sewage like? Uh, <laughs> it's a little nutty. Uh, <laughs> And that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, <laughs> I'll, 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 uh, can I carry you across? Oh, please, strong warrior. <laughs> uh, so you're just going to hold Princess Butter out of the, yeah. out of the sewage that... while you just kind of walk along the bottom. Is that okay? Sure. Give me, give me an athletics skill check. Is that what that time is going? Do I have terrible gas? <laughs> <laughs> I really <laughs> <laughs> That's a 13. 
Yeah, that, that, that'll do. That'll do. You managed to, uh, you managed to uh, uh, carry Princess Butter across. Um, by the time you get to the other side, you're sputtering and coughing, and uh, yeah, you're, you're, you're gore covered. It's, it's really bad. Um, he stinks perhaps even more than he did this morning. Um, Princess Butter, you've already found a way across, thanks to Fizz. And last but not least, uh, Vinci, what are you, what, how are you getting here? I will look at this moss and uh, the way to scramble across using acrobatics, and I will say, INCONVENIENT! <laughs> so plus one on this acrobatics roll. <laughs> uh, so, uh, that's, uh, so I get a plus one, this is plus seven, twenty-five! <laughs> Definitely did confiscate those things. I did roll a natural one, you know, keep that in mind. Sure you did. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, so uh, you managed to scamper across without uh, really any problem at all. You you do it with grace and style. Pinash. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I got it in spades. What are you? No. Yes. I'm gonna see you. You look great. I, you did. You didn't get any filth on you at all. You're all filth. <laughs> I got spades all over me though. Yeah. <laughs> Next phase of our plan. So you continue making your way to uh, what the what the the, the the goblins. You know they know the, the sewers relatively well, and uh, uh, the last time the, um, the the queen was buried, uh, she was tossed down one particular well that would lead to the, the main cistern of the sewer. And uh, you're you're almost there now. Uh, in fact, you round a corner, and there uh, you are now looking into. The main cistern of the sewer. So it's a it's a it's a big giant round space. There's walkways all around it. Uh, there's some walkways that kind of go through it, um, and in the center is just a big giant pile of refuse. It's mostly garbage from the town, but here and there you can see what looks to be like a corpse that got thrown down here, or uh, just piles of trash and filth. Um, and as you approach. Um, because you know that the, 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 the queen's body must be in there somewhere. It's totally safe. Yeah, yeah no worries. Uh, nothing's yeah. going to happen. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> um, uh, the pile of trash stirs. The all knowing trash heap. <laughs> Some of you are 40 and got that. <laughs> and rising up out of it is some giant three legged beast. It comes. Rising, I've been called that. It, uh, it has... Trash heap of the the dreaded trash lord, Wormsley. I, I step forward and I introduce myself. No. <laughs> uh, look, look, we apologize in advance. <laughs> My name is Ikop. I am a man who is to come. I am searching for the rat that killed my father. We got lots of rats down here. What do you want? <laughs> I would love to know more things about the rats and their nests, and where I can find them. He's like, there's a big rat nest in here somewhere, but this is my trash, you go away. <laughs> I would like to use a diplomacy check, if possible. Okay, what are you going to say? Ah! Oh, great and powerful trash heap. We have come to relieve you of a item that is probably cluttering your kingdom, uh, making it messy. It is a body of a goblin that we wish to return to uh, her loved ones. 
Oh yeah, no, I ain't that. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, once you were crunching on the skin and bones, did you perhaps notice some sort of hat made of metal? Um, uh, yeah. Might we take that off your, I won't say hands. Your, that's very insensitive. Yes. <laughs> Can I take that off your appendages? No. I like it too much. It's mine. Go away. Very well. I no, no roll. I uh, go ahead. Yeah, okay, you can make a diplomacy roll. Uh, both of you can. You, you were both fine. Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. So <coughs> I'll just go ahead and pull. I'll say so. impolite. <laughs> Do you get a plus one? <laughs> <laughs> say impolite. Impolite. <laughs> impolite. <laughs> it, has, it has to start with N. I am. That's impressive. Yeah. <laughs> Thirteen total. Seventeen. Oh. He looks at you and goes, I'll fight you for it. Okay. <laughs> and it, it stomps forward to attack. Yes. Um, as it does so, it's like kicking apart the garbage. And uh, as, it, as it stomps its way across, and it disturbs a giant nest of rats. Oh. <laughs> uh -oh. It has six legs. <laughs> Very convenient. <laughs> I know that this is what happens with that crown, but I need to go after that rat. <laughs> All right. I have run over to the late rat. Igmanto, I'm going to allow you to go first. <laughs> Monologue. All right, and, and, and that monologue is? My name <laughs> is Edmonto. You killed my father. I have inherited his raised teeth, and I am ready to take my revenge and kill you. The rat just kind of squeaks. <laughs> It, does, it, it is really impressed by this speech, I can tell. So if you didn't attack it, you didn't attack it, but I'm monologue? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you still, you still have action, so if you'd like to attack it, if you'd like to bite it, yeah. Yeah, go, go ahead and make me a bite attack. Yeah, no, she has teeth. Razor sharp teeth. My, my father is imperative razor sharp teeth. <laughs>
you know. Yeah, I mean, you just visit. I mean, you go home. Oh. Like, <laughs> Probably. Yeah, no, that's it. Alright, so I... Oh, my guys are right. I understand my whole life. Searching down this man. To kill him. And now it's over. It's just done. The, the I trash board kind of... The trash board, what's speech. he doing is like, it's like, uh, congrats, are we fighting here? Or <laughs> Inside a pile of, of trash, and underneath is a box of letters, all of which are uh, apparently have been unsent, but they uh, are all addressed to Princess Butter. <gasps> he looks at you, Princess Butter. <laughs> Try to have a fight here. <laughs> Fishes out a 
golden crown. And he hands it to you, tears streaming down his filthy tentacle. And he sucks off into the sewer. His true love spurning and rejecting him. I would assume that as he turns his back, I would attack him. Yes! You are, of course, correct. However, we're at time, so uh, the, 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 the group of you uh, attack him as he flees. Yes, I'll be throwing, uh, I'll throw all of my remaining fire bombs while screaming, INCENDIARY! <laughs> uh, and you are all able to make your way back up to the surface. Crown in hand, your mission complete. Uh, you make your way back up to the king. Well, except for Princess Butter. She has a date with a guardsman. And, uh, and uh, the, the king is truly grateful uh, for your service. You are, you are heroes of Goblin Kind. I want to thank you all for coming. Fantastic, thank you very much. If all of you, uh, if you're interested in seeing more live Pathfinder action, you can find me on Geek and Sundry. I have a show there called Knights of Everflame that is airing now. I also have a weekly show on Twitch called The Oblivion Oak that you can also check out. So I hope you guys have a great Dragon Con, and uh, we will see you next time.